touching the lives of local people every day. Hello, welcome back. This is Business Extra. Tonight we're finding out about something called Step Into Tech. It's a new venture that's hoping to get young people into things like coding and programming and give them experience that could help them develop a career in the future. I'm joined by its founder, Claire Riseborough. We'll be hearing from Claire in just a moment, but first let's catch up on the business headlines for the week. Let's start with some good news for Norfolk building company RG Carter. The family-run group sale turnover and profits grow with pre-tax profits of £8.2 million for the year to the end of December. They say investment in new sites and a focus on energy-efficient housing has added up to a busy and successful year. A Norfolk-based fishing kit supplier is reporting a jump in their company value after opening two new stores. Angling Direct, which is based on the Rackheath Industrial Estate in Norwich, has launched a new store in Swindon, with another soon to open in Slough. The company was listed on the Stock Exchange in July and has grown its market capitalisation from £27 million to £35.5 million. An Norwich software company has been named among the winners of a royal prize for training their employees. EPOS now has been awarded a Princess Royal Training Award for successfully linking skills development to business performance. They were founded in 2011 and now have a turnover of some £30 million. And finally, we're often told just how important diversification is for business. And one Norfolk manufacturer is doing just that by offering cheese-making holidays. Fielding Cottage in Honningham, which supplies goat's milk and cheese, has built some residential holiday units. It means they'll be able to welcome visitors for week-long cheese-making breaks. The courses will start early next year. OK, those are your business headlines. So, let's talk Step Into Tech, which is a Norwich-based community interest company. And as I said, I'm joined by its founder, Claire Riseborough. Good evening, Claire. Evening. First of all, tell me, what is Step Into Tech and where did it come from? Well, we're actually now set up as a community interest company. Um, we started in Norwich. Uh, we have four um, directors with a wide range of skills. We were basically born out of a need because I've got a son who's 13 who's a whiz on the computer. Um, he started programming when he was like age five and this was very early days really before everybody had touch screen mobile phone devices. And I thought this was quite an interesting thing that he was doing on the computer and I wanted to support him with it because he, he likes to play Minecraft and, and games and things but he was doing something different. He was actually starting to create his own games, his own sort of digital platforms using code. So I started to sort of look around to see how I could support him with that and back then there was very little for him to do. So, um, so recently I've set up a club and we've started some events so that young people like my son and other children like him can get together and have fun with code and, and technology. Fantastic. So uh, James is now 13. Yes. Um, so how far along are his uh, skills and, and what, what does the club clubs help him do? Well, he is fairly, fairly much self-taught. Quite a lot of the children that come to the club have actually started their interest because obviously that's the beauty of, of computing you can learn a lot at home. And I think guidance is actually quite important. You can actually show them online. There's lots of resources out there. Um, he's now programming in 14 different coding languages. And I've started to realize that's actually really an exciting skill to have. Not only that he loves like graphic design and animation. Um, so that's the kind of thing we build into our club. And other children that have just got an interest in tech can actually see how many diverse things there are to do using technology. So he's self-taught, but there's a lot of people out there who don't necessarily know anything about it. Mm. I mean, what actually is coding and programming? Well, coding is basically just putting instructions into a computer to get the computer, the interface, to do what you want it to do. Um, it's great that schools now at primary level are actually starting to introduce it and I think it's really important that young people are starting to learn how to code because what it does give you is the ability to create using technology and not just use technology which obviously I think a lot of parents um, realise that tech is, is a normal thing for their kids to grow up with but it's very easy for them to just spend an awful lot of time being passive um, consumers of tech. 
Um, whereas with coding, it means that effectively you can build stuff. You can build your own game. You can build your own website, your own platforms, um, your own apps. So it's really exciting that some of these young children are starting to be drawn to this. Now, where the problem space is, if you like, is that within parents and, and teachers' capabilities, we're kind of a bit behind the curve. And I sort of have sort of tried to catch up quite quickly. And I can't code at the rate that James codes. I can do very entry basic stuff. But what I've set myself to do is find out about the exciting possibilities in technology. Um, I've gone to sort of tech groups in Norwich. I mean, Norwich is a really vibrant tech city. There's some exciting companies here, like you mentioned earlier, Epos Now. Um, we've actually filmed some of their staff to showcase to some of our children. Um, there's diverse jobs available, you know, whether you're arty, creative, more into engineering side, there's a huge range of jobs available. And I, I realise now why these skills are actually really important to our young people. So those companies you're talking about, what kind of response do they give to you when they hear what you're doing? They seem really, really excited and positive. I think, again, the problem is for tech companies, and not just tech companies, but other businesses who also need the skills of techie people, is that there is a shortage of, of young people coming out of schools, colleges and universities with the sort of right skill set to apply themselves to jobs of today and the future. And, you know, this is the way the workplace is going. Every single industry is being disrupted by the fast um, pace of technology. So, I mean, are there more groups coming up like yours? Are you trying to kind of spread across the country? Well, it's interesting because we started in January and it became popular very quickly. We just sort of soft launched, it was just word of mouth really. Um, we have like up to 30 young people come to the club now where they get to do all sorts of nice things using tech. Um, we've now got demand to set up clubs elsewhere as well, which is very exciting. We think that we're going to be setting up a new club in Suffolk very soon. So we're going to be announcing that shortly. Um, we've also got interest to set up in other areas of Norfolk, including um, West Norfolk. Um, so it's very exciting that people have kind of heard what we're doing and have said, hey, we want a bit of that. Can you come and help us set something up? And we're only too happy to help. So is this something just for young people or there are workers out there who obviously may need to learn this? Do you just work with young people? We do, yeah. We are literally a voluntary-led organisation. Um, we are looking for support. We are looking for organisations that want to come and sponsor our events and activities because with, with that extra support we could do so much more than what we're currently doing. Um, but yes, we, we're definitely trying to get support on it. Fantastic. So where do you see the company this time next year perhaps? We hope we may have set up a few more clubs. Um, we're also going to be running a techathon event, which is like a competition for young people. Again, this is where we'd like um, business and company engagement because we would like them to come in and set the kids a challenge using technology. It may be a problem that we need to try and um, get a solution on because ultimately tech is a tool that can solve a lot of problems. Um, so we'd like you know companies to come in, set the, the challenges for the children, provide mentorship and maybe some prizes and just generally get involved in supporting young children in these amazing abilities that they've got. Fantastic. And yourself, are you kind of are you still learning as well? Absolutely. It's really interesting. One of um, the guys on our team is is he he's a tech himself, he's a programmer. And I've got a, a software product consultant who's on our team too. And each step of the way they're they're teaching me things I didn't realise. So I'm literally stepping into tech myself as a parent and I guess that's really the space that we're in. We want to communicate with parents that actually it's a very exciting world and if your children can get hold of some of these skills they'll have a really exciting future ahead of them. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Claire. That's all about we've got time for tonight. But remember to drop us a line with your thoughts and your business stories. You can find out us on Twitter at Mustard TV and catch up on all our business programmes on our YouTube channel, Norfolk Now. But for now, my thanks to Claire and to you for watching. Good night.
Source, touching the lives of local people every day.